Number eight. If you observe the following reaction at equilibrium, is it possible to tell whether the reaction started with pure NO2 or with pure N2O4? And then they give the reaction here, which I just wrote it big here. Okay. Now, in previous questions, we discussed a lot in depth about what's going on, right? We know that this is a reversible reaction because it has this double arrow. Um, and reversible reactions can come to equilibrium. And remember, at equilibrium, the rate of the forward reaction, and I'm just going to say Rxn for, for uh, reaction, is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction. Okay. So that's what's equal, the rates meaning how fast the forward reaction is happening. And if I just dip this down a little bit, right? The forward reaction is always going from the reactants to the products as what is stated. So this is the forward reaction. So maybe I'll say forward. The forward reaction would be the N2O4 turning into 2NO2. The reverse is literally st stating the reaction backward. This is the reverse reaction. So the reverse reaction would be now stating, okay, I had two NO2s and I'm making N2O4. Now, these are at equilibrium, right? The question said, if you observe the following reaction at equilibrium, so that means that both of this is happening at the same time. The forward reaction, N2O4, is turning into 2NO2, and the reverse reaction is happening as well. The 2NO2 is turning into N2O4. But the thing is, is that they're not really getting anywhere because the rate in which this happens is the same rate as with this happens, right? So you're not really getting anywhere. So... Can we tell if we started with pure NO or with pure N2O4? I don't know, right? Because at equilibrium, all you know is that the forward reaction is happening and the reverse reaction is happening. But can we go back in time to see what we had if you're just looking at it at equilibrium? No. All I know is that I have some amounts of both of them at equilibrium, right? I have some amounts of N2O4, I got some amounts of NO2, and one is trying to go one way and the other one's trying to go the other way, but I can't tell what you're started with. You're already at equilibrium, so you can't determine that. So the answer here is no, it is not possible. If you have something in equilibrium, basically, it's just going to go back and forth, and the rates are going to be the same. You can't go back to the start, basically. A reaction won't go back to the start once it reaches equilibrium. All right? So in this case, no, it is not possible. And that's that. All right? So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, subscribe if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. And I, I really hope you guys are doing well out there. All right, good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye.